Hello everyone, welcome to Scardia.com. This is Dr. Sana Khan with the General Surgery course. We have started discussing about the liver pathologies. In the previous lecture, we have been discussing about the B9 tumor, especially the hepatic adenomas and hemangiomas and focal nodular hyperplasias. But in today, today's lecture, we'll be talking about the malignant processes involving uh, the liver. And we will not talk, be talking about the better cell carcinoma, but we would be talking talking about uh, the metastasis all over the body which is uh, going to involve the liver. So have, uh, the, have a look at the outline of today's lecture. We'll be talking about the uh, epidemiology, we'll be talking about the demographic distribution, uh, the male and the female ratio, and we will be talking about the etiological factors. We'll be talking about the role of the cirrhosis, the artemian hepatitis, and uh, the hepatitis B and C infections which are related to the development of the hepatocellular carcinoma. Then we'll be talking about a little bit about the role of the chronic primary biliary cirrhosis and other chronic conditions which can actually lead to the full-blown uh, hepatocellular carcinoma. Uh, the role of the alcohol is also very, very much important. But besides that, non-alcoholic fatal liver disease also leads to the fibrosis and cirrhosis and every chronic inflammatory process, which is actually leading to fibrosis and cirrhosis leads to the hepatocellular carcinoma. We'll be talking about that in detail. Then we'll be talking uh, the presentation and we'll be talking how actually, what are the symptoms, what are the signs, and what are the important investigations which are usually going to make you help in the diagnosis of the hepatocellular carcinoma. Then if you are already done with that, uh, making a diagnosis of hepatocellular carcinoma. The next step is to stage the tumor. We'll be talking in detail about the TNM staging. We'll be talking about the carcinoma and site to tumors, the stage A, stage B, stage C, uh, and stage four invasive tumors. And we'll be talking about their proper treatment and their uh, rate uh, of resection or a kind of a curable rate, and we'll be talking in detail about their mean year survival rate. Then we'll be talking in detail the conditions which are actually the contraindication to the surgical resection of the hepatocellular carcinoma. And we'll be talking in detail why it's important to do a pre-evaluation for the surgical resection. We need to know about patient fitness, about the liver function, about the serotic and the non-serotic hepatocellular carcinoma and the staging of the tumor. We'll be talking in uh, detail about that. Then, then we will be talking about the preoperative imaging because actually the preoperative imaging is going to help you stage the cancer and it will be going to help you about the distant metastasis and that's actually is going to help you in the proper treatment. Then if you are already made the diagnosis, then you have to choose if the patient is a candidate of ablation, it's a candidate for the orthotopic transplantation, or it's a, it's a candidate not suitable for surgery, or it's a candidate for a palliative cure or chemotherapeutic chemotherapeutic therapy. We'll be talking in detail about that. Then we'll be talking about the last resort we have uh, in case of the liver transplantation, in case of the liver uh, cancers as a liver transplantation. So we'll be talking in detail about that. Another important thing which need to be discussed in today's lecture is about the colorectal liver metastasis. Not only the colorectal liver metastasis, but breast metastasis, metastasis from the adrenals, small bowel, the pancreatic cancers, which are coming to the liver, then we'll be talking about which metastatic tumors should be resected and which should be left. Uh, the you know defining resectability is also important to be discussed in today's lecture. Then we'll be talking about the staging and selection of the patient for the liver surgery, and ultimately uh, then we'll be talking about uh, different uh, chemotherapeutic drugs available uh, for those. Uh, liver metastatic tumors which are not resectable. We have got other lectures on our site which is cardia.com. You can go there, get access and enjoy our lectures. For the detailed lecture, keep watching cardia.com with Dr. Sanakan.